I'll tell you that's not much of a backdrop, huh? I'm displaced right now. I'm not in my house. I'm somewhere else. Um, we'll call it a hostile environment. Um, but I have power and heat. And uh, as you can see, my belongings are strewn all over the place. Um, I think what I could take away from this whole situation would be when they tell you to evacuate, evacuate. I've never seen waves that big in my entire life, other than watching like videos about Hawaii. Um, the storm surge was incredible, um, and I couldn't stress anymore when they tell you to evacuate, evacuate. I've been to so many hurricane parties where we laughed it off, and this was one uh, we just couldn't laugh off. Horrible, catastrophic damage um, to my town, to my neighbors. Uh, people I know are dead. You know, and it just sucks. That's the only way I can put it. Um, for some reason, they keep saving me. Not really sure why. Um, who would I give kudos to? Definitely not the National Guard. And uh, definitely not the State Police. Or anyone else who's been keeping me from going back to my house. It's been like 10 days and I still can't go back home. Um, while the looting goes on. But... It seems like they keep the people that want to go home away, but they, you know, they don't have the problem uh, letting the looters run wild. I don't know when I'm going to get back home, so I don't know when I'll do another video. But uh, for the meantime, I have some power and I have some internet, so I'll just roll with it. Um, who would I say did a great job in this whole situation? It is amazingly as it is, the Red Cross. The Red Cross was a godsend, man. They were right there with food, hot food, cold food, food you could take with you, no questions asked. Um, warm blankets, socks, um, offering assistance, guidance, you know. You don't really ever understand uh, what people who go through in a situation like this, and, unless you do it. I mean, we were without power um, where I am for seven days, and... It's cold here, man. It's real cold here. And I tried getting back home today, and there was like 300 people, and they were running shuttle buses. You couldn't just drive in and get your stuff. It was just register, wait online for a set amount of time, and wait for the bus to show up. It was only but one bus for like 300 people. So, needless to say, I didn't get back home. And uh, I was, the, the day after the storm, I walked in. No problem. No questions asked. I went home. Everything was okay. I was cool. Downstairs was completely destroyed. Um, there was about three miles of boats lining the highway. Uh, and in some spots, there was actually houses in the highway. Uh, the water cut its way. It cut my town in half. But, you know, I, I just wanted to give you a heads up uh, what's going on with me and where my head's at. Uh, when I get the opportunity, I'll do another video. But I don't think for a while. I, I'm just in a a bunch of weird places at a bunch of weird times so when everything settles down and everything gets right i'll catch up with you guys later